Here also have a crack. I said this 10 years, I don't never know for what. So I'm going to paint some smaller piece first. I'm from Finland. Take it out. Hi, I am Sami and I want to be Overlander. I revealed my ego. Hello again and welcome to Wannabe Overlander YouTube channel. And what we are doing in this episode, I need to disassemble this axle sander. I'm going to sandblasting them and then get some primer and then some top coat. They are too big for me to carry and move like this. So that's why I'm going to disassemble them. I need to take some photos so I can remember how to put them back together, separate the bolts and uh, etc. I think the brake parts I don't need to sandblasting, but uh, let's see what it's going to be. upper control arm and uh, here you need that uh, tool for remove this upper joint they are they are not broken but of course I need to put new as you see you can see some cracking here in the bushing so this is definitely not gonna last long time more it's cracking all the way here What about here? Here also have a crack. And what about this joint? It's feel a little bit loose, so definitely this one it's not going to last long time anymore. But I'm going to sandblast them first, then I paint it, and then I'm going to change bushings. There are going to have some small scratches but it's uh, it's alive okay this right hand lower control arm pushing was definitely quite worn it's all rubber tear out there and the bolt was a little bit corroded back in the hole because I'm going to sandblasting it so I don't need the treats. Okay now the axles are disassembled and uh, I need to wash them. I don't do that today but I need to clear off a little bit here and uh, separate parts which are going to sandblasting and uh, I change bearings and the uh, bushings and uh, etc. I change them when they are painted because I don't need to masking the installation holes and uh, I don't need to worry about the sandblast they are like that right now so we are going to wash these parts and uh, 
before we can do it, I need to drive him out this Cadillac. So I don't want this car to get dirty. Cleaning solvent here. I'm going to put this mixing this with the hot water. This takes a lot of time. There is still some bearings inside, but I removed them later, so I don't need to cover now so much anything for sandblasting. Okay, now, now parts are clean. I cannot clean them more than that. And uh, next I'm going to sandblasting them and then painting. So this front axle was full of sand and that's it today I have trunk full of parts and now they are sandblasted and it took me many many hours I'm very exhausted now I'm going to back to home garage today we are going to paint these parts T4 axles and uh, I got some acrylic color and this is my precious precious I saved this 10 years, I don't never know for what, when I have a paint job company a long time ago. I saved this color box. This is a acrylic silver, standard plate, base aluminium. So they are going to be silver, painted with the acrylic one layer. Here 
my precious color and uh, it's an uh, acrylic metal color so I'm going to stir this little bit I said this color 10 years all my table shape I didn't know where I'm going to need it but now I'm sure definitely need it so and then anything has, has time to come I'm using this uh, mixing stick 3 to 1 and then I am going to add 10% standard free thinner. So let's start to mix in color. I don't know how this is going to work. It's already, it's looking good. It's definitely no problem to use it. Yeah, nice silver. Then we add hardener. And now here is a, in Finland have plus 28 degree. So this solvent is uh, quite too fast, but it's never mind. I have only this one. So let's add uh, then 10%. Let's stir it together. And I have a red primer on those parts. So because we don't use a water-based color, we can spray it directly to the red primer. And I have a 1.4 millimeter nozzle in this my RP reduced pressure spray gun and I'm going to use some something like uh, one and a half bar pressure it's not gonna need higher than that so let's go to spray boot first the uh, like a thin layer that's for the make the color stick together and then just one layer to finish this and there the orange peel it's not matter we can just paint it them with a little bit thick color okay so now we have a color in a gun and we start to paint it so i'm going to paint some small of these first channel it costs nothing so see you in next videos and thanks you from wannabe overlander and next thing is I'm going to need all new bushings and and uh, ball joints I need to start to making orders from the internet and uh, when I get the parts then I start to change bushings and after we got new bushings and joints, then we can start to assembling this back together.
Thank you for watching and see you in next episode. It looks like an old engine oil. But the smell quite different anyway. Now I'm going to use this SATA 